Well, I want to thank some arts. And turns out that Obama has had the worst legislative record in the history of all presidents. Uh, believe it or not, this is a good thing, considering the damage that the city has done. President Obama oversaw the deepest legislative malaise in modern political history during the Washington Times Legislative Index, which captures his struggles to find ways to work with Congress that range from lukewarm to openly hostile toward him. Over the course of his eight years, he has signed just 1,227 bills into law, less even than one-term presidents Carter and George H.W. Bush. Digging deeper into the numbers, Congress spent less time in session, handled less business on the chamber floors, and generally sputtered for much of Mr. Obama's tenure, according to Times Index. So it's not all on him, uh, it's on the Congress, too. Blame for poor showing falls across Washington. Some analysts say Congress has four years of divided control, hamstrung Mr. Obama, which is a good thing, while others say the president failed to find ways to work with a legislator, legislature that voters gave him, particularly after the 2010 elections. The president was never good at reaching across the aisle. Now, that's the understatement of the year. So, when composition of Congress changed relative to what it was for his first two, two years, he wasn't able to accommodate that very well, says Andrew Bush, presidential scholar at Claremont, Claremont McKenna College, California. He never accustomed himself to operating in a system where he was not the sole player. It's all the more stunning for Obama having emerged from legislature, legislature himself having served in the Illinois State House and then in the U.S. Senate, where he spent two years in the Republican-controlled Congress and two years in Democrat-run Congress. Interesting, they used uh, two different words for that. He was first president since JFK to make leak leap directly from Capitol Hill to the White House. We took a mostly hands off approach. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Leaving his uh, former colleagues on their own to hash out the details of bills. Could he have potentially reached out more? I think it's fair criticism. So Joshua C. Huter, senior fellow at Georgetown University's Government Affairs Institute, but he said lawmakers on Capitol Hill were putting up more law roadblocks than they did to previous presidents, particularly when power was split in the White House, in the House and the Senate, in the 112th and 113th Congresses. You have to look at Congress. They don't didn't give him anything, essentially, Mr. Hooter said. Most of this lays on the Congress for those four years when it was divided between Republicans and Democrats. So like I said, you can see all the damage this idiot has done, so this is a good thing. I'm glad he is hamstrung. I can't imagine what would have happened if this man would have had full reign. It's unbelievable how much Obama hates this country. I, I have no words. But in the uh, words of the immortal Roy Clark, Thank God and Greyhound, you're gone. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a nice day.